Stitch Files with Baird in America. I am Brandon. I'm Sarah. I am Bob. <laughs> Robert <laughs> Lee. Bob. Robert Lee Bob? No. Robert Billy Bob. Lee. No. No, just Bob's fine. So we were discussing before we started this, if you would like to hear an ASMR. See, I, does everybody know what that is? Yes. If you're in the know. Well, how come I don't know? You're I'm a man of the know. world. You're not in the know. You've been well, doing this a long time. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you should know. No. I, was I haven't been doing that. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're just kidding. We were just goofing. Uh, today, we're going to talk about... Well, we should talk about our absence. Yeah. Should we? <laughs> I feel like you're just going to brag about where you were. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. No. Go I, ahead. No. Everyone wants to hear about all the good food you had. I'm just saying we were we were out of town. Yeah, you should. You weren't. No, I was here. I was for two days. I was for eight days. Well, yeah, two days. It was two days. Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. I didn't know you Tell were Tell the gone. people where you went. No. Tell them. They don't need to know. It was a business trip. Yeah. There was some top secret stuff going on. Yeah, I can't tell. I, w- I can't. T- if I told you to, I would have to let you go. We I already know. Fire you because of it is top secret. But if you tell all the folks watching and listening, that's serious information. And you can't fire them. <laughs> or kill them. I know where they live. <laughs> no, you don't. No, we, it's been a while since we've done a podcast. Mm-hmm. Three weeks? Has it been three? Two? It's been a while. Well, been a anyway, while. we apologize. <laughs> we know that you guys are really, really wanting to listen <laughs> and watch. But, man, work gets in the way sometimes. We try to do these every other week, but it gets tough. When yeah. we're all, when we're, I told these two to go ahead and do one, and why they didn't. I don't know. Well, why didn't you? Why didn't you? I was gone that Monday and Tuesday, but then you were back on Thursday, right? Yeah. Oh, but I was, yeah, I was out of it. Yeah. He was, <laughs> was hungover. Jet lagged. He ate way too many fish and chips. Snails, mm. even. Three snails. Never eat. That's the only three I'll ever eat in my life. Yeah, those poor snails. Unless I'm in prison. That's yeah, we, we, we could have podcasted, but you we didn't. Know. Yeah. Anyway, but we're doing one now. Yeah. So that's all you want to say about it? Yeah. You brought I, it up. You brought it up and wanted to talk about it and then no, didn't no, talk no. about it. No, no, no. I just want to talk about <laughs> we haven't been here. Not they where I've that. been. It's, they know. It's, 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 I'm not bragging. As in Europe. <laughs> there <laughs> it is. Have to there brag. it is. <laughs> Squeezing, what is it, blood out of a turnip? It was a very tiring trip. I will tell you that. It was tough. It, it truly was tough. Eight, I was on nine airplanes. That's nine. horrible. Yeah, hey, seriously, that's awful. nine. You, when you count them, <laughs> it adds it's up nine. to nine. And Kevin had mentioned, he said, You know, we've been on nine airplanes. I said, There's no way. We were on nine. Wow. There was a way. Yeah. So that sucks. Going through airports and security that many times. Well, well, we have to do customs, too. Can you say yeah. who you, like, what they're. Vague reason is, or do we want to keep everything? Oh, no, no. We we had a vendor meeting with with one of our software people in Greece, and then we had uh, another vendor meeting in the UK. And then they blocked out. And then we went to Scotland and had a saw some customers. And it was a good trip. It was. Got some things done, got some things accomplished, ate some fish and chips. Went to the, uh, I got to go see the queen. I went to her house. Is she still alive? Mm Mm-hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? I feel like any time you mention someone and say, are they still alive? Does something happen? Has this happened before? I feel like it happens all the time. (laughs) Who have I killed? (laughs) (laughs) Any time you've mentioned anyone, they have died. No, I just. She's doing fine, y'all. She's going to be, she's fine. (laughs) She's like 120. Yeah, I know. She's She's old. Getting up there. The oldest person in the world died like a couple weeks ago. Then who's the next? I didn't, I didn't mention them on the podcast. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but it was Kane Tanaka. That was her, their name. I think it. <laughs> I'm serious. This is stupid making, information. You're making this I'll up. S- Google it when you're done. But I didn't think they she find a, like another older person yeah, but, right after? Yeah. So, so you, you know this. Somebody yeah, I think okay. I see that. Yeah. How old was she? A lot. <laughs> a lot of years, a lot of time. One, maybe like 119 or 100. Something, yeah. 109, 100. The, the, no, maybe it's more, there's more than that. I thought there were people like in Tibet or somewhere that were like 130. But 
it, she could have been in Tibet. I don't know. No, that th- sounds like a Japanese name. I think she was Japanese. Oh. Kane. Tanaka. <laughs> They're built to last over there. <laughs> yeah, well, they are. That's why we build Baradins there. They last a long time, just like those old Japanese people. Just like Kane. But well, well. There's been, there's been older people than that, but she was the oldest person currently living. But then, yeah, the next week, somebody's like, <laughs> this lady's like 124 or something. Yeah. But I don't know how you... They didn't do a lot of records back in the day. Well, you yeah. know, it's, they didn't have their birth certificates. No. And, and a lot of instances, somebody would just say, well, they were born in like 1863. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, you, you, yeah. you, you would kind of be really old if you're 1863. You'd be like 100 and... You'd be Kane Tanaka. 160. Almost. I, th- I thought the oldest person was like 130 years old, though. Ever on record. That they you're not following this at all. No, That I may am. be the case. But that person has since gone. So then somebody else lives, and they get older. But, but what my, my point is, you're not following my point, is that Kane Tanaka didn't live to be as long as the oldest that's not, person ever lived. That wasn't the, that's not to be disputed. I agree. Okay. She was the oldest living person, though. Currently. Well, now she's not. Well, 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 we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't on know. record, on record. Well, on record. I yeah. mean, if you have to have a birth certificate to make it legit. I, I could say I was born in 1850 and I didn't want to have my birth certificate. <laughs> right? <laughs> this week's episode it. is sponsored by Ancestry.com. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I just thought, why did this even come up? I don't, I don't know. know. It's a tangent. We starting. We start on tangents. I d- I've done good for the last like two episodes. I've kind of kept things okay. I know. I, I I'm, the, I'm the one. I run it off the rails. And but you're back. I, We're I'm back. Not sorry. Yeah. So. Yeah. You either like it or you don't. You can always change the channel. Yeah, it, that's that's true. <laughs> you can turn the dial on your radio. Whatever. Turn us off. Shut us up. Okay. This week we're talking about the ESP package. If you're watching, we've got. An array mm. of debris, array. a smorgasbord, a smattering, that's mm-hmm. a word, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of a collection. Various embroidery backings, toppings, tools, tools. accessories, threads. So we're going to go over what comes in our ESP package. Well, let's, let's explain, first of all, if you are a new embroiderer, gonna do that. were you going to do that? Would yeah. you like to explain you got, it? No, go ahead. You gotta ramp the people up. I you just—I got a sushi burp coming up. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to talk about this. Yeah. I took the birthday boy here. He was um, not the oldest person. Allegedly, I'm not. He's not, but uh, he and his brother. But if I he burnt his, his sushi. birth certificates, then maybe he, could he is. Be. He could be. I don't but even know where mine is. Uh, your mother knows where it is. Okay, God bless her. She, she probably has it somewhere. But anyway, we had a nice sushi lunch. And you're about to vomit it onto the table. <sighs> yeah, I, you know. Yeah, maybe. No, I, I'm, I'm not. But if something were to come out of my mouth and land on this table, that's not part of the ESP package. <laughs> if a fish, if a if trout, a fish <laughs> swims out. Yeah. Is it the combination of coffee and sushi yes, that's doing that, it? That would not be good. That what is was, a weird. What was it? Your brother was saying at lunch. He didn't know what kind of fish. He said, "I cannot. I, he says, I can't identify that fish." I, yeah, because I asked him what it was. He, he said, said that I, was his least favorite. I, you know, I was like, "What is it?" He said, "I can't identify." It. I was yeah. like, I, "In this state, I can't either." I think it was trout. <laughs> Here it comes trout sashimi. That's not good. All right. Are you going to talk about no, that? No, hey, fine, go ahead. <laughs> I, I gave you a nice little push into I that. I think you're mad at me. I'm always mad at you. All right. Um, I lost my train of thought. You're, you're going to tell people, if you're a new startup, embroiderer. If you're a new embroiderer. Um, so if you buy a machine from us and you're, and you're new, completely new, there's things that you need that you don't know you need. So we've put together something called an embroidery startup package. Here it is. Also referred to as the ESP. ESP. And it's everything you need to get started. I mean, it really is. Um, when we first put this together, probably back in 2000 or 2001, you know, we sat down and, and, and with some of our vendors and put together uh, an assortment of backings and supplies and things that you need to get started. And I, I've said this a million times. It's things you don't need until you need them. And we've got it all together in one package at a really good price, which, which we'll go over here in just a minute. But... What we wanted to do is explain what comes in the ESP kit and, um, you know, what it is, how you would use it, 
and why you may need it or why you may not need it. But no, it, it is stuff that, that everybody needs. So we've been talking about doing this for a long time, haven't we? And yeah. yeah we've now, had this little kit sitting over there on that table for a while. And we had to clean the dust off of it. Yeah. It's like, oh, we should film that, show people what it is. and now we. But now we're doing it. We're doing it now. So yeah. here we are. So that's, that's all I wanted to say. So, you know, you can buy a machine. Or, and you don't have to buy this kit, but I think you'll see for everything you get for the price, it's it's a really good value. Yeah, and <clears throat> I mean, there's people that that call or email that are looking for that startup package. Mm-hmm. So this is um, yeah, we're going to kind of go over in a little bit of detail what comes with it, um, and we'll start. Do you want to start with the design pack since it's at the tippy top? Oh, sure. there, Dakota. Yeah, yeah, you got the yeah. So, I don't know if, if you can see it from there, but it's the Dakota Treasure Chest um, has a bunch of... Is that Sammy the Space Squirrel on the front? That's the, that's Dakota's little logo, mm-hmm. that I squirrel. Know. It's always on the... Oh, uh, it comes with money. Yeah, you get some Dakota 25. bucks. I better keep that. 25 Dakota bucks. Um, yeah, it has a little... Uh, scuba diving for some treasure. Oh, it's scuba diving. I thought it was in space. Well, 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 space. Okay, let's let's be real. The ocean is the space it, of the earth. It, it, it truly is. Yeah. That's what they say. <laughs> I've heard them say it. Yeah. You can um, float around in the ocean like you can in space. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> so it has 5,000 designs. Um, and these are stock designs. And mm-hmm. stock designs are pre-digitized. Um plug and play the little it's these are also online too the book is online so you can go on and see the size it gives you the stitch count the color sequence and the size in inches of the design so and you may not know this and i don't know this and i should so that comes on a disc Mm -hmm. i don't know that they make a downloadable copy of that I haven't seen one that's been on like a USB or anything. Right. No, but I just you get a, I, I think they give you a code, an access code. Okay. You can go okay. and access those designs. Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I'm not even, and somebody can correct me out there, but I'm. I'm yeah, but not I, everybody has. Right. Yeah. Most people don't anymore. So I think when you get this now, I think you can register at Dakota that you bought the uh, Dakota collectibles from mm-hmm. us, and you'll get a code that you go in there to access your 5,000 stock designs. I mean, that you, is, you'll, be able to, you'll be able to see all the designs, but you'll only access the ones that come in the treasure yeah. chest. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. But then you can go in there and use your Dakota bucks and buy more. Mm-hmm. Or if you see a design that you want, um, they sell them from anywhere from, I think they're 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks, depending on how big they are. Yeah. But it's a lot of cool, um, basically like mascots, mascots um, nautical yeah. items, every sports, animal. Every, Every single sport. Every sport. Even uh, high lie, which is my favorite sport. Is that jai well, What words are you saying? High lie. Never seen it? No. Okay. I'm surprised. Do they have that in there, really? Is that when yes. you walk on a wire? No. Like high up? No. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of like a cross. Is it like a cross? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's these wooden bats. Um, you know, just look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they have everything. It's only my though. favorite sport. <laughs> That's all I know about it. Yeah, so five, you get 5,000 of those. Maybe we'll do a little little, little insert of some of these, like just a little quick shot maybe. maybe yeah, not. we'll maybe flip, not. flip the pages. I'll film it. Flip yeah. The page. yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll show do you some it. of them. Yeah. We'll put they're a pretty cool. Clippy clip in there. But they're, they're good designs. Dakota's been around for a long time. And They've been doing it a long they, time. They make, um, they're designed so well. And if there's something you don't see in that book, like we said, you can always... I think they've got something like 25 or... No, no 40,000 designs. Oh, it's a bunch. It's something a bunch. Like that, yeah. I mean, it's a ton of designs. Is so. that catalog you have? Does it have every one of them in there? You've got, the big, so. you've got yeah. the big catalog. Mm-hmm. And I, I think it's up there up to 35 or 40,000 I think now. it's 40, yeah. So. That's crazy. Yeah, they're yeah. really cool. I've used a, um, a few of them on mm-hmm. some, like, gifts and things. We've they sung well. a few of them at shows, too. Oh, really? Over the years, yeah. That... that uh, 57 Chevy. Oh. You ever see that uh-huh. one? The blue one? That yeah. was a Dakota design. Oh, I didn't know that. They could not call it a Chevrolet for copyright reasons. Mm-hmm. But when you look at it. It was a, is the design to say 57 car? It didn't say that. It just says car. Old, <laughs> old car or something. Old I'm car. on the wall here to see if I can see. I, I thought yeah, we had it, it hanging on the wall. I but thought maybe it was not. too. It might be back there in my. You may have stolen it. My cubic kill. I mean, you may be wearing it around town. Who knows? On a vest. 
Yeah, I'm like, check out this you're old the, car. You're in the 57 Chevy Club. Trademark. All right, moving along. Um, the, the kind of the simplest thing, the thread kit. You'll get 15 cones of uh, Madeira thread. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And these are, it isn't a random, but it's they're pretty much the most popular colors. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and they're, f- they're 5,000 meter cones. Yeah. So they're, they're the big cones. 40 weight. Yeah. 40 weight uh, poly neon, polyester. It is polyester thread. And um, we, you know, we represent uh, Madeira. You can buy it through us. I, what what is it? Did you we say that? That's what I thought. That's exactly <laughs> what I thought. You said that. <laughs> no, you said we represent. And in my head immediately was like the lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, that, that went over my head. I don't know what that was. But, um, and, and it's good thread. We highly okay. recommend it. There's other good threads out there too, but we really like Madeira. It sews well. Our machines like it. And um, it's, you'll get 15 cones of it. Yeah, 15. Which is a good number. <laughs> because our machines it's are a 15 needles. 15 needles. Yeah. All right. Next up, um, we'll go over the little cleaning supplies. Um, you've got your, I guess that's the cleaning brush. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice slash cleaning brush. You can, you know. Clean. You can brush? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I don't like that sound. See, it, yeah, it has two polarizing effects. You either love it, mm-hmm. or it, it's like somebody's needle, like, it's, or hands on a chalkboard. Yeah, it gets on my nerves. Yeah. Like that. All right, plastic ruler. <laughs> it sounds like somebody eating potato chips. <laughs> it sounds like static to me. People are like, oh my God, my radio broke. My YouTube broke. It's nice because it's clear. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. Good to Good to be able to see through to your whatever's underneath it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how see through things work. And you got your small set of snippy snips. And those are angled, right? Aren't they, they are the angled yeah. so you can get right in there. <laughs> under the under the needle? Yep. Fix your mistakes. You have the tweezers? What else we have? Yes. Yes. The bent tweezers or forceps as we call them in the medical profession. I don't know that I've ever used tweezers <laughs> in an embroidery machine. And people always say you have to have them. If anybody out there is listening and you use tweezers, let us know because I don't use them. Can you think of a time when you would use tweezers? Mm. Maybe plucking your eyebrows when you're sewing? Never I know. used it to pull a tick off my leg over the weekend. I, I mean, tweezers, tweezers. <clears throat> they're usable tools. I just don't know how much you use them. And somebody's going to say, I use tweezers every day. Good. Well, good. good. Well, you're going to get a pair. Yeah. yeah. We, we throw them in for free. Good. Tell yeah. us why and how. You use them. Yeah. What do you do? You know, what do you do? With, may, may, you know, maybe you use it to thread the needle, maybe. You think? Mm. That'd be tough, wouldn't it? I can't even do it with human hands. Needle ease. You need mm. a needle ease. Yeah. Well, mm. We should partner with them. With put, who? Put For a needle ease ESP? in the ESP package. We could. It would raise the price, though. Okay. <clears throat> Money don't mean a thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. What do you got next there? That's the... This is that magic, the invisible... This magic pen? Mm-hmm. Is that the invisible pen? That's the invisible yes. pen. Yeah. Disappearing ink is what it says. What's the point? No. I mean, it starts purple. There are two different sides, so you can be very precise with it. Okay. You got a fine so point and a... A, a fat mm-hmm. end and a skinny end. Mm-hmm. Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll let that one go. <laughs> I'll let you figure out which is which. I'll do a handstand in a minute. <laughs> what else we have? Um, what would you use this pen for? And how does it disappear? It's a fabric, you, fabric, fabric, yeah, fabric pen. Do yeah. you apply heat to it? No. It, it wash just, off. It just it washes off. Okay. That's why they say it's you don't believe invisible. It? Well, she I thought, where should she I doesn't mark? believe it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't mark your shirt. Well, if it disappears, then... You have to wash it. Okay. She never washes her clothes. We know that. If you're you're wanting the center of your design and you you measure it precisely, you just put a little dot Uh there. Instead of a Sharpie. Yeah. Some, some, yeah, like I do. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we know. There was one time I did something for somebody and I couldn't find it. I said, screw it. I just took an ink pen and put a little... I said, it'll cover it up. But it was a name. (laughs) It's like right in the middle of a A. And... Nobody noticed it except me. I'm like, man, nobody's. That's all you can see there. Yeah. That little that little dot of that little ink pen. But if I would have used that, and when they washed it, it would have gone away forever. Yeah. It's invisible. 
Or you think it would go away forever? You think it's there's, think there's should, residues always there? I think we should try it. Test it. Okay, we'll test it. We'll get back to you on that. Yeah, yeah. We'll mark. There's a athletic mm-hmm. uh, polo shirt over there. Mm-hmm. We'll mark it up. Polo. I'll take it home, rinse it, wash, repeat, bring back, <laughs> show you, the, show you the results. <laughs> Stay tuned. This is exciting stuff. <clears throat> um, where's the needles? No, yes. No. The oil. Did I miss something? Didn't we miss the oiler? Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah. The the oiler. Mm-hmm. The one we were so Very excited about. Tip. Mm-hmm. That's good for oiling your hook on your machine or in your needle bar drivers. Now you're going to get um, an oiler in your in your uh, toolkit with your machine too. Yeah, the little pin. But, uh, <clears throat> with this, you get a little extra one, which is is nice. Nice to have. Yeah, it's good to have those around because I can't keep up with those pins, honestly. No, and uh, they are bad to leak, aren't they? I don't want to like say that about something that has the Baird and name on it, but yes. Well, we didn't make them. I think I some know that, do. But some they have our name on it. Right. I got a bag of them one time. I think Wendy ordered them when she uh, was here, and a whole bag of them, and all the oil was like this much was in the bottom of the bag. You just cut the tip off of it like a <laughs> piping squeeze, thing. Squeeze it all into your hook. Yep. Sorry about that noise. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 my. Sushi's talking. Okay, now we're going on to needles. Um, so you'll get fi- uh, 50. Yeah, 50, 50 of each of um, sharp and ballpoint 7511s. Um, I think they come, we're assuming that this is, because this is a set of 100, so maybe f- this is half and half, but we don't know. This is we what we know. had that we, yeah. we found. So anyway. 50 of each, which is a good amount. And those are uh, Gross Beckert's, which yep. I really like those needles. I, they're, the they're GB. Favorites. They are. There's several other companies, but I honestly believe those are the best. Would you say that the GBs are the OG? Yeah. Okay. Right the on. bestest. I like them apples. Yep. All right. Uh, the Coates pre-wound bobbins. Well, those are Madeira bobbins. These yes, are Madeira are. Yeah. bobbins. Yeah. What do they send? There's a gross they of them. Madeira. There's they 144. Mm-hmm. Yep. Why is Do that I? on there? <clears throat> it's what? old. This is an old piece of paper. Oh my! This thing's constantly changing. This this it's there's it's, substitutions that come in and out. You're you're going to get what's on this, but it may not be coats. It may not be. It might not be GB. It may not. No, no. They pretty much stick okay. to that. <laughs> but the Madeira. aren't they aren't they all pretty much Madeira now? Yeah. Madeira products. Yeah, pretty much. Aside from the needles. Yeah. 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 So Madeira bobbin. Bobbins. I just read. I'm like Ron Burgundy. I read what's on the teleprompter. <clears throat> so. I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> so I think those I are po- aren't those, those are polyester bobbins. I think they I'm are. Pretty yes. sure they are. Insta- yeah, okay. Yes. They're not spun polyester. They're polyester, but they're they're good bobbins. 144 <laughs> of them. Yes. A-, a gross. A gross. Gross Beckert. All right. Moving on to backings. Did we go over the? Did we go over the scissors? Oh, no. Um, just a nice pair of scissors. Those just are a, good scissors. Yeah, large. Large you know, Marge. Large pair of scissors. What kind are they? Cushion soft. Mm. Mundial. That sounds Dress maker she- comfy. They're shears. They're shears. Ooh, that's a nice handle. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Nah, I like them. Oh, get a little of this. This is what I like. Please tell. Ergonomic for left right or, right. or left oh, hand. Oh, wow. I knew where that was going. Yes. Most of the time, I struggle mightily with scissors, and I still would with these because they're bolted the together. Blade, the blade is on the up <clears throat> other. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so that's so <clears throat> that's the, tough to do. It is tough. And I've never thought that much about. Because you're not left hand, left-handed. People struggle in, their right mind. in a right-handed world. Yeah, it's tough. It, I mean. I like my coffee cup. They used to think what? that left-handed people... See? We're smarter? No, no. we're possessed by the devil. Uh, <laughs> or witches, I, I one of the two. This is a left-handed coffee cup. All of the witches this that were a- burned at the stake <laughs> at the Salem Witch Trial were left-handed. Were really? They? Mm-hmm. Facts. Look it up. <clears throat> Do you know when I was a kid? Yeah, they used to whoop your hand. They did. This they is hit a story. Ruler. My mother... Tried to beat it out of you? Hey, if we're going to go on a tangent, uh, let me tell you a little story. Mama didn't. <clears throat> no. No. The teacher did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The teacher... I would write with my left hand, and she would take a ruler and smack it. Was she a nun? No. Mm. no. Just a Presbyterian minister. <laughs> and she would try to give me, she would say, switch your hands, Robert. 
take one hand off and move it to the you other. Switch your hands, and I could not. I couldn't write with my right hand. And man, I went home crying, and my, I had big knots on my wrist. That's wow. terrible. I was in the twelfth grade too. <laughs> no, I was in like the second grade. For, yeah, that's whenever, you start, whenever you start writing, and my mom says, "What? What is wrong? First of all, why are you crying? And second of all, why is your hand so red?" And I told her the story. Oh my goodness, my mom went to. Yes, yeah, she went to school, didn't she? It was, and from that day forward, I never got smacked again, and I learned. Well, I didn't learn. It's just I'm, I'm a lefty. Yeah, you are, Joe. Yeah, that's a great story about growing up mm-hmm. and child brutality. You never, you never know what you're going to get on this podcast. You don't, you don't know. But no. I'm just saying uh, that was, they, they tried to get kids to write with their right hand back then. This this was in the very early 60s. That was a long time ago. Well, I'm just saying. And I turned out left-handed and look at me. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't get away with that today, just so you know. But see, I, see when I get out my there. coffee cups, I get, them, I get them left-handed. He he no, I'm sitting here thinking like, you're a waste of breath. That was like just. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, no, if you think about it. I don't want to think about wouldn't, it. Wouldn't the logo be on the other side if you were left-handed? Because when you're drinking your coffee. You want to see it. No, you want people to see your logo, I have, right? I have one that I never see the logo and I hate it. There, thank you. Yeah, I, I want to see the logo. It's for you. Okay, then, then, I, then I'm good. Okay. That is a left-handed cup, then. I know. I bought it for you. <laughs> you, you just did, being thoughtful. Didn't you? Yes. Yeah, because yeah, your other one broke. I broke the other one. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I didn't break it. It broke. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody out there might be listening. Yeah. yeah. Okay, backings. We're moving on. Um, so, we, you get... These are not going to be in order. I'm just going to rattle them off. Um, 250 pieces of the no-show backing. Let's see that. Oh, the no-show. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you would use this on a light-colored garment, so yeah. you don't see the outline of it. It's um, I, I don't think people use this enough. This is really good stuff, this, this no-show. It shows, is. Uh, especially if you're doing polo sh- a lot of polo shirts. Mm-hmm. And also, it's it's softer. A lot of people don't like when you, when you cut the mm-hmm. backing out, yep. it gets against your skin. Yeah. And this stuff's more like, uh, it reminds me of like a picnic napkin. <laughs> I'm serious, because it's... Get that woven material is it not? Yeah, you know, no, like a picnic it's, napkin. Why are you no, looking at me like I that? I don't know. You what don't? a picnic napkin is. I, I, you have a specific napkins I for take all paper occasions. Towels to my picnic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I mean, I have a rebuttal. Yeah, they're like if you go to a picnic, <laughs> you need your picnic napkins. <laughs> This back in here. <laughs> yeah, I, don't yeah, know where, I don't know where that They're called from. picnic. Dude, you weren't raised that way. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That's just what they're called. Like, when you go get them at the store, they're like uh, Dixie picnic napkins or whatever. Oh, let's move on. <laughs> what, did you, what did you have to drink at lunch? Um, water. You mm-hmm. saw me? Okay. Water. W- water. Uh, this is Easy Tear. 250 pieces of that. Tear away. Is it medium or is it what, uh, weight? what weight? That is should be medium. It is medium tear away. Mm-hmm. Uh, eight by eight pieces. How many pieces though? Uh, yeah, two fifty. I think they're all two fifty. I think. <clears throat> uh, that's the stick on. That's a hundred pieces of that nine by nine. Yeah, and you would use this. Um, if you're using the seven in one, the uh, ICTCS or no, not or the um, Hoop Tech, mm-hmm. you know the yeah, yeah, yeah. what you call it, the seven in one or the six in one, five in the one, win- whatever, the windows, the windows. You would cut a piece of this, stick it to the window, yeah, peel the backing off, and if you've got something that you just can't hoop traditionally, um, you can use the sticky backing to stick it on, stick the garment on there, and sew it, and it acts as a backing, of course, and then it also acts as a way to mount it to that window. Mm-hmm. So you don't use a lot of this, but every now and then you'll get something like maybe a, a child's glove or something, or that you just, just cannot get a hoop in it. That's where this stuff and those seven and one. Yeah. Uh, we talked about those on that yeah. one podcast that we did with all the hoops. And that I, don't, the you know, you don't, I don't think most people use them a lot, but when well, you if you're, them, if you're somebody that, yeah, if it's like a specialty, mm-hmm. you know, most people that might use it all the time, Yeah, but you're going to get it. Yeah. How much is in there? 
I think it's five pieces. Okay, five pieces of five fun. Five colors. Are they yeah. different? It should well, be three. Maybe. It should be two mil. Yeah, they're the same. Well, two so mil. Is it two mil? <coughs> yep. No, that's three mil. Yeah, that's three. That's three. It's 12 by 18, and it's three. That's three, meters. I told you. <clears throat> and this is the same f- type of foam that we use for our our caps mm-hmm. at the trade show. We use the Madeira foam, correct? Yeah, we do. Yes. We get it from Madeira. Yes, we do. And we can say... All of this stuff, we've used it, and it's good. It's not like we've cut corners and trying to find some cheap stuff. You've never used those scissors. That's because they're right-handed. Not according to the box. Well, the the handle is for lefties. I'm not so sure I could even cut with those. Oh, was that 14 by 15 tearaway? 250 pieces of it. Tearaway backing? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Use that for towels. Or any place you want to use backing that you don't want to cut that cut away won't work. That you don't you know like a like a terry cloth towel. If you're doing a monogram on it, you would use tear away. Um, so you, you wouldn't have the the cutaway on the ba- on the towel. I'll get it down in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept thinking, you know how I like my towels <laughs> monogrammed. Monogrammed. Uh, that's cutaway. Is that me? Is it medium? Medium. Weight? Okay. Yep. 100 pieces. That's a big old chunk. Yeah. 15 by 15. Yep. And that takes us to... Cat backing? Oh, yeah. I forget that that's there. Get a roll of cat backing. Um, 50 yards. That's okay. uh, four and a half inch. That's the extra tall, which yep. is good. I like that. And that's their... What do they call the Easy... Easy cap. Easy cap. Yeah. Which is good. Again, we use... We use that on our caps along with that uh, along with that foam, the Madeira foam. And you said that might not might not mm, mm. words are hard. That might not always come in a roll. Could be in. I, I think they've been sending it in okay. a roll. I mean, they used to send it in the perforated pieces mm-hmm. for the longest time, and then we had some complaints. Well, what what if you're doing like both sides of a cap? I think that makes the most sense. I mean, yeah, you, you can, can cut, you it, cut to it to length. size. Yep. Yeah. Or, or tear it. I mean, you just, you know, tear you could a piece tear off. It. You can burn it. it. What yeah. are you going to do? You could take, take, take these here scissors that you're going to get in your kit, and you could actually cut it. And this is the Aqua Velva <laughs> hairnet <laughs> topping. <laughs> water-soluble topping. What is it called? Easy Aqua Supreme. It's water-soluble <laughs> topping. That's yes, what it that's solvies. what it is. A lot of people call it solvy. Solvy. And this is to be used, again, if you're doing like a Terry On a submarine. <laughs> um, cotton piquet, shirt, you know where the little waffle weave is, and you don't mm-hmm. want the stitches to, to bury down in there. You put topping on it, uh, and it'll keep it from doing that. And once once you uh, get finished embroidering it, you can just tear it away, and then there'll always be some residue left there, so when you put it in the washing machine, it just dissolves. Yeah. So, kind of like, like the visible pin. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. All right, now we have the get a can of adhesive spray. Is that even on there? Yeah, it's on this one. I don't know if you guys. It's have the, the uh, well. This is the oh the, yeah, yeah, uh, temporary yeah. adhesive backing, and it's yeah. This is the that's MSA Madeira one thousand. Yeah. The, the the KK one hundred has been out for a long, long time, and that's probably what that is. I don't think Madeira makes that. Yeah. Anyway, a can of that adhesive spray it says quick tack, repositionable, clear. Non-staining, low odor, and no chlorofluorocarbons. That's big. That's how we like it. Save the ozone. That's right. Don't huff this. No. Save your brain cells. And finally, Ultra Duster. However, on here, it's blow-off canned air, (laughs) which I like better. (laughs) Blow-off, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Oh, really? I'll tell you what you can do. You can blow off. This is Ultra Duster. Always great. Keep canned air around. I think previously I shot something across the room with some canned air. <laughs> you never Maybe found you can it. go back and we find that episode that somewhere. Straw, That's where I went. It's to the Lord. Gone forever. Yeah. And yeah, that wraps. That's all, everything on there, right? We went through everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but in the so the we're going over the pricing of the ESP kits. Yeah, yeah. So that, that. it also includes, which isn't on here, the the two day install training no not the esp kit doesn't that's separate on the pricing oh she's talking about with the machine yeah no i didn't say anything and i know but i'm I'm she's (laughs) talking (laughs) about what (laughs) explain to us what the uh 
ESP machine and everything is the like, the whole, the, whole like the whole package, the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah, um, that's where I was going with it. Sorry, that was my fault. So it does include the yeah. two days of install <laughs> and training um, with the startup package. Um, it also includes the car and the wheels. Will come embroidery studio, mm-hmm. lettering and editing. Mm-hmm. Um, all the things we mentioned before. Yeah, we'll go over those again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> From the top. Yeah. Sis, these here scissors? Yeah. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we offer those for the single heads, but, yeah, I mean, you could add this kit onto anything you wanted to. Yeah, the only problem is with the multi-head machines, you're only going to get yeah, you're gonna 15 get, guns of thread. Right. Or you would need. But you're going to be ordering thread anyway. Yeah. Just order all the thread you need. Mm-hmm. This will at least get you one head covered. <laughs> but this this kit, this the startup kit with the machine, everything. I mean, for one price, you get everything out the door, mm-hmm. and it's going to be your software, your machine, all your hoops, cap frames, all this stuff that oh, yeah. we showed you. Um, it's it, it's at a reduced price when you you know buy the package all together. Yeah. So you know, just keep that in mind. You, you know, if you're if you're a, a veteran embroiderer and you already have machines, this is not. Yeah, you don't need this stuff. This but if you're for brand, you. and this is for brand new people that never embroidered before, and they always say, "Well, what do I need?" Um, this is a comprehensive, pretty much everything. I can't think of anything else you need besides customers and yeah, something to sell. Customers and something to sell on. Yeah, <clears throat> it would work. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good little kit just to get you rolling, and mm-hmm. yeah, even like you know, for your if you're doing an install, you know, your technician will have all this stuff there. They can go over it with you too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just a good little kit. That covers it. All right. <laughs> you got, did you have something else you want to cover? No, I don't think so. Okay. It's kind of short, but that's fine. Yeah. That's um, fine. If, if anyone listening wants machine information, um, you can fill out the sales inquiry form on our website. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yes. get, to get to see some of this. Mm-hmm. Get to see all of it, actually. Yeah, we can, so we can send you over literature, information. Yeah the pricing go over options with you we'll find what works for you it just may take a little while for it to get there well we can mention well you know let's mention the price on this that, that everything that we showed you in this esp kit is 695 dollars and if you bought it separately um you couldn't even you couldn't even get the treasure chest for 695 i think that retails for like 1100 dollars or something like that so um yeah of course you can buy this stuff yourself and you can say well, i'll just buy it on my own and, and that's fine you can do that but for 695 dollars it truly is a no-brainer i mean it's everything that you need i mean i'm, I'm gross of bobbins now is about 28 30 bucks yeah for for just just a box of bobbins uh thread is about nine dollars a cone 875 a cone so when you add this up individually and then and buy your backings too and everything else you get um it's it is it's it's a good deal. You know, we buy a bunch of them. We buy them in bulk. Uh, Madeira puts them together for us, so of course we get a price break, and uh, it just it's better for you. And, and you know, if if you like this backing, you know, the idea is to you know, like I like the Madeira cutaway or tearaway or the thread or whatever, and you can order more from them. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and it, I mean, it's yeah, like the. Um that adhesive backing mm-hmm. yeah it may, might not be something that you'll ever use but you'll have it and mm-hmm. somebody may come in and say oh this is what i want and i'm like I'm glad i bought that esp espn kit <laughs> <laughs> but again it's it's good quality stuff too i mean we don't you know they don't just outsource a bunch of cheap stuff and, and put it together it's stuff that they want you to buy and use that you'll that you'll like they put the good stuff in there so yeah, it's the good stuff the good stuff not that they have bad stuff but and it should I always say ESP package but that's not really what it is that's kind of redundant mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. P stands for package yeah mm-hmm. but you always mm-hmm. say that don't you ESP kit I say kit yeah. I call I say ESP kit I say ESP package I'm gonna stop doing that <clears throat> yeah it's like saying embroidery start startup package package, package. <laughs> <laughs> ESP squared <laughs> all righty um, trade shows September is September and October Charlotte and Fort Worth GPX in, Sh- in Charlotte mm-hmm. Fort Worth is the impression show mm-hmm. I don't know the dates so they'll they're be on our, they're on our website yeah, yeah September 16th and 17th um, for Charlotte and then 
the 31st to the 2nd. Yes, yeah, it's the four, It's a two-month yeah. show. Yeah. 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 yeah so come out, come out to a show. It's kind of weird not having a show this summer. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, we usually have at least a show a month, and March was, yeah, March was the March, last one. Yeah, it was the last one. We've only been to, well, I've only been to two. I've been to three. Not even counting Canada. I've only been to one. Oh, I've been to four. I forgot about that. Yeah, you, yeah. So come see us at a show. Yeah. If you'd like. We'll be there. Or come see us here. Yeah. Come, come find see us. us anywhere. Yeah, well, we, I mean, we have um, we have machines here in Archdale or in, in North Carolina if you're passing through or if you're within a two or three day drive. <laughs> 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 we, I mean, we have people come through all, well, not all the time, but occasionally. We'll have some, we had one of your customers came, mm-hmm. came up from Florida, was passing through, going to Charlotte. Shout out, Mo. Yeah, Mo. I did a little demo for him. You were out of town, so I, I, had, to, I, was. I had to do your job. So. It's okay. I get nothing out of it. It's all right. No matter to me. Happy birthday, Brandon. I, ca- I called you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I called you and said, hey, do you mind? So. What did I say? He said, no, that's Is fine. That anything for you, son. Yeah. That's exactly what he said. Not really. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. No, but. Um, no. Yeah, if you, if you want a demo of machines and you're yeah. in the surrounding area or, or driving through, just call us. Or you just want to stop and meet us and we'll. You know, get our autograph or whatever. You can also do that. We'll do it only on your shirt with one of those invisible I mean, pens. Invisible pens. Yep. And when you wash it, it'll go away. That's right. Okie dokie, Smokey. All right. That's it for us. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks always for liking and commenting, subscribing. Um, yeah, the podcast is growing. and I'm surprised, kind of. Well, that's just a defeatist <laughs> attitude. No, <laughs> no. No, it's it's hard to get a podcast going, and it's hard to, hard for it to get traction sometimes. Yeah, but I mean, you put it out there. If people like it, great. If you don't want to listen to it, that's also fine. But it's here, and we're it's here. It's here for you. Yeah. And we'll be here whenever these things happen. Okay, we'll be here for you. Because <laughs> I don't know when they're going to happen again. No, we should get back on schedule now. I, I think you. I got vacation coming up. You got vacation coming up. So we may. We'll get it done. It'll yeah. happen. But we'll, we'll get back on our schedule. Yeah. But that's, thanks that's, for hanging in there with us. Yeah, and we do appreciate it. Always leave a comment, anything you want to hear, share. Yeah, if you got any ideas that you want us to do, too. Um, I'm not telling you we'll do them, but... Um, <laughs> but give Here's, us, you know, give send us the ideas, ideas in <laughs> just so we can shoot them down. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. If, if we get enough people that say, hey, we'd like to see this, this, or this, then yeah, we, we absolutely can consider it. So well, we're working on some other guests I don't know who, but we're working on them. Yeah, John um, John Coon, who's a technician down mm-hmm. in Georgia, he he would, has volunteered several times to come on the show. We just got to line it up. So, yeah, um, thanks, John. We always just like having him. The hardest him thing at getting a guest is getting everybody's schedule. Yeah, it's if everybody's a, in different. different it's a directions. juggling act. But it's it's, it's kind of tough. There's a couple people in, 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 I've got in mind that we need to get on here, and I've contacted them a couple times. But we just can't get our our dates lined up, and it, it's good that everybody's busy. But um, yeah, we'll get some. We'll get some more people. I, I always like talking to other people in the mm-hmm. industry and getting their opinion and their perspective on the embroidery industry. So um, we want to do more of that. Yeah. So stay tuned. Exciting things to come. Yep. All right. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again. Rest in peace, Kane Tanaka. <laughs>